welcome to the drunken upholster. That's good. Today we're going to talk about staple guns and staples and their various applications. Now, I use pneumatic staplers, which means they run on air from an air compressor. They work really well for upholstery and many other things. And there's various kinds, various sizes. These are two over here. This is a long nose, BEA, nice gun. It's got a, a 3 8 inch crown, and the crown is the top of the staple. This is a, another 3 8 but you can see the nose on it is shorter. The long nose is very handy. I use it the majority of the time. This one's all right. It's got a band-aid on it. Who the hell knows why? I don't know why. Somebody put it on there. This staple gun, it's an antique. It's a Senko, really good one. It takes very, very small staples. So it has a unique application. You don't use it a lot, but when you use it, or when you need it, this is the one to have. It's a good, good gun. All right. And now we can talk a little bit about staples. The first staple uh, we'll talk about is this number seven, nine sixteenth. And you remember I talked about the crown. Well, that's the width of the staple. Then the length is literally how long the leg of the staple is. This is nine sixteen. It's pretty long. You use this rarely when you have an antique that the wood is really bad on and you have to go deep to get it to hold you can use this. I also use it to hold joints together. Works really well for that. Next is half inch. It's a fairly long staple. Half inch is the leg. Three eighths or number seven is the crown. This I use when I'm putting on multiple layers of fabric or going through uh, welt cording and uh, tacking tape and um, curvies, things that have to be held on very tightly, webbing, this is the one I use, the half inch. The 3 8 inch crown and leg is the one you use mostly to attach fabric to the piece of furniture. That one you use pretty much the most. Now this one, we're getting shorter. We're at a quarter of an inch, three-eighths crown, quarter inch leg. That you, you're going to use in applications where what you're stapling to is a thin material, uh, a thin piece of wood um, where you don't want the staple to go right through it and come out the other side. So you use this short legged one. And an extreme example would be this staple here, where you got the 3H crown, but a very, very short 532nds leg. This you'd use, and I have a example of it here. This is a panel goes on the front of the arm of a chair and if you're putting the fabric on here the cardboard is so thin that you don't want the staple coming through and creating the porcupine effect. You want this to be just held on there nice and that's where you could use a very short legged staple like this one. And our third stapler, the narrow stapler. It's very handy to use. I use it a lot when I'm going to put decorative nails on. I use the staple to hold the fabric or leather in place and then I put the decorative nail right over it and you don't even see the staple. Works really well that way. You can use it on uh, double weld cord to hold it in place. You can use it on uh, GIMP to start it or finish it. It's just a 
handy size to have. You don't use it a lot, but when you do need it, it's great to have. And it's probably the only thing you can use at that point. So it's really, really handy to have. That about wraps us up for staples and staple errs. Um, I thank you for watching. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Keep us in mind. Uh, we're very informational and very um, helpful for you. So keep us in your in your prayers. <laughs> keep us on, on life. All right. Take care. Bye bye.